Ngayon naman ay pag-aaralan natin ang tungkol sa similar at dissimilar terms. Our learning objective for today is differentiate similar terms or like terms from dissimilar or unlike terms. Bago tayo mag-proceed to the types of terms, ay kailangan muna nating maintindihan kung ano ba ang concept ng power ng variables. So, let us consider the two different terms. The first term is 5xy and the second term is 7x cubed y squared. Observe na ang first term ay mayroon siyang dalawang variables, x and y. What is the power of each variable? The power or exponent of x is equal to 1. Although, hindi natin nakikita kung ano ba ang exponent or power ni x, but then, it's still 1. It is what we call the invisible exponent. Then, the power or exponent ni y ay 1 din. Now, let us now take a look at the second term, 7x cubed y squared. Mayroon din siyang dalawang variables, the x and y. What is the power of x and y? The power of x or the exponent of x is equal to 3. And the power or exponent of y is equal to 2. Observe that itong dalawang terms na ito ay pareho silang may variables na x and y. Kaya lang, silang dalawang terms ay mayroong magkaibang powers or exponents. Okay. Let us now proceed to the types of terms. There are two types of terms. Similar or like terms. Dissimilar or unlike terms. Ano ang pinagkaiba ng dalawang ito? Masasabi natin na ang terms ay similar kapag mayroon silang same variables with same powers or exponents. Then, ang terms ay dissimilar or unlike kapag mayroon silang magkakaiba o different variables or pareho ang variables kaya lang with different powers. So, let us have the following examples. 5xy and 7xy. Ang dalawang terms na to ay parehong mayroong silang the same variables, x and y. At mayroon din silang pareho or the same powers or exponents, which is 1. Dito sa 5xy, ang exponent ni x and y or power ay 1 which is an invisible exponent. At dito rin sa 7xy, ang power or exponent ni x at ni y ay 1. So, they have the same variables, the same powers. So, therefore, 5xy and 7xy are similar terms. Now, let us have another example. 7x cubed y squared and 8xy cubed. Ang dalawang terms na to ay mayroon silang parehong variables, si x at si y. Kaya lang, sila naman ay mayroong magkakaibang powers, different powers or exponents. Sa term na ito, ang, bar, ang power or exponent ni x ay 3 at ang exponent dito ni y ay 2. At dito naman sa term na ito, ang exponent or power ni x ay 1 at ang exponent or power ni y ay 3. So, they have the same variables but different powers. So, since sa sila ay mayroong magkaibang ng powers or exponent kahit pareho sila ng variables, sila pa rin ay considered as dissimilar or unlike terms. How about 8xyz and 6xy? Sila ba ay similar or dissimilar? Okay. Ang dalawang terms sa to ay may pare-parehong variables na x and y. Kaya lang, etong unang term na to may mayroong variable na z at ang pangalawang term na to ay wala siyang variable na z. So, since na silang dalawa ay may ay hindi sila parehong-pareho ng variables, magkakaiba sila ng kanilang variables, so they are considered as dissimilar or unlike terms. Dito sa unang term ay may z, at dito naman ay walang z. So, they are considered as having um, different variables. So, they are dissimilar terms.